Vinita Ramitri, thank you so much, ma'am, for taking time out and coming on a, this bright morning. How's the weather in London? It's really good, actually. Um, it's getting cold, but today is warmer. It's uh, 13 degrees right now. So okay. I was out, um, okay. but it's not raining. It's not sunny, but it's a bit gray. You can see, actually, see there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. And uh, what about the COVID situation? Is it fine now? Or how is it? going fairly relaxed i mean we still wear masks um, in the underground and all but um, most um, you know most things are open back again and i'm going back into office five days a week so it's pretty pretty normal in a lot of ways i've spoken at a lot of conferences so you know face to face conferences because it's yeah. time that we were yeah. doing zoom sessions but um, yeah. i've gone to about three or four conferences and like recently i spoke at the london investor show there was about that was the biggest turnout about 150 people so people are starting to come back out yeah that's great <laughs> at least some sort of normalcy is coming back uh, yeah. and after you as well is it yeah same here i mean people are getting back to office and uh, things are start any in fact in during the festive uh, season Diwali and all uh, it yeah. didn't feel like we had some COVID and we were locked in for two years and everything is coming back to normal so ma'am I wanted to talk to you about I mean you you have a sprawling career of more than 22 years in corporate apart from that you coach people on professional and personal front you write books, you write blogs, you do a lot of things and there's a lot of on your plate. You maintain your health and everything. How do you manage your time? I mean, this is such a, a massive uh, learning we, that we can get from you. Thank you so much, first of all. The thing is, it's interesting you say that because, you know, um, the you are seeing from outside. So you are feeling, yeah. ki how do you do it? You know, bar, when you're seeing someone do say, to look at, you know, how did it happen? But when yeah. I'm actually doing it, I don't feel that I'm doing a lot. I feel normal. Mm -hmm. Like this is my normal. Do you know what I mean? So I don't yeah. feel like, oh, you know, I have to do all this, but it's because this is my, uh, this is the way I like to be. So it comes very natural to me. So I'll tell you like today, for example, if you see my LinkedIn post today, I've literally shared my journal entry, but like I woke up by uh, five or something. Yeah. And I yeah. did, um, I did some diary writing and I do my, you know, just go, I just go through my goals like quickly and see, okay, you know, am I on track on everything? Then I thought, okay, Abhi, um, I have to do this for eight o'clock, but I wanted to finish the gym. So I went to the gym already and I came back. And I was trying to get a coffee from Preth, but Preth does not open till eight. So I'll go back to Preth after this and get my coffee. But then um, my son, he has football after this. So I'll take him for football. So I manage just by like taking one thing at a time. Okay. So I think the two key things will be like have a, in the morning, I have a general view. Like this is what is my day going to be like. And usually I also have a general view of this is how my week is going to be. Okay, so you have like that, you know how you're driving on the road, Shashank, you'll have like, you know, saying, Aage, you know, you have to turn left, you have to turn right, and you have a general sense, right? So that right. same way, right. I have a general sense of this is where I'm going. And right now, I have to focus on this particular, you know, signal, <laughs> and I'm doing that mm -hmm. bit. So it's kind of constantly adjusting that bit. So that's how I do it. And I just keep going. Like, I don't just stay somewhere and be like, you know, if I have uh, another quick tip, um, for anyone listening is also that um, I set up a lot of timers in my phone. So like for my Facebook, it's timed at five minutes. My uh, Instagram is timed at five minutes. So mm -hmm. I don't close anything. I don't say, oh, I don't want Facebook. I don't want Instagram. It's not that. It's my whole family is in India. My sister is in America. So I want to keep in touch. But I know how much, which I have already decided in advance. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like, okay, abhi, abhi, I'm enjoying Sabka Diwali post, aara hai, dekhe ja rahe, dekhe yeah. ja rahe. you know, it's not like that. It will lock okay. in five minutes. You know, ho gaya aaj ka, abhi, aage badho. <laughs> you know? oh, that's you great. Know? I mean, you can't actually avoid all these things. You can't be anti-social and just uh, give up all the social media. I mean, you can do it for a detox for a day or two, but ultimately you want to be updated what your friends are doing, your families are doing, what's going around. 
it's both ways right i fully agree with you because sometimes you know people say that productivity is sabse important hai all that right mm. but why are you being productive you are being productive because you want to live a happier life right ultimately you know that limka wala tha na um ye karke you'll be happy so then they're like i'm happy already right. you remember that ad right. so basically yeah. it was that point that um ki you are doing all this productivity stuff to be happy yeah are you going to be happy alone or are you going to be happy not knowing you know if your sister is not well or if you know something you know you don't want to be like that also to so say okay i'm just productive productive that's it right so right. i have a very strong balance of uh, what i i want to know what everyone's doing only to a degree that everyone's fine and well right, right. um that's more of the concern i'm not so interested in you know kisne kya pehna hai kisne kisse kya bola i don't care about that you know i'm right. mostly concerned about i will write something and i will share it if someone replies then i always reply to the comments right but like on facebook on messenger i get so many messages that i never reply so i just mute everything i delete mute delete because i can't keep up so i have a limit to saying okay thoda bahut okay after a point no you know in fact you had uh, shared your calendar and an insightful post on linkedin earlier that you codify based on colors also that this is for personal thing and this so uh, i i'm curious for this podcast uh, come will come under which head and can you share that insight again it will come under i'll share that insight so as the insight go, actually there's a bigger framework i could literally write a book on this sure, but there's sure a bigger go. framework right to say yeah. okay what do i want my year to be like what is my you know how companies look at their brand and they'll say as yeah. my brand this is my strategy right so the same way i look at myself i don't say the brand but i have to have a personal strategy right saying what do i want from 2022 as an example right i want yeah. to continue to write i want to grow my career i want to you know help my son to learn coding as an example you know i want to expose him to coding i want to support my daughter okay so th- that will form my general strategy for 2022 then in that i have the color codes to say a uh, blue is office because yeah. blue always i relate to work okay in my head and also i think before i used to work for barclays so barclays blue is that blue color so okay. it works quite well since then so blue then uh, orange um, is like personal development so this personal development or anything where i'm actually um, learning something okay so if i'm reading or if i'm uh, you know writing something like writing my novel all that goes into orange like creating something new is is orange um mm-hmm. and then or growing myself as a knowledge base then um, the other one is um, purple which is for investments or you know just uh, from my own financial freedom so there's just general codes yellow is always for uh, things like uh, if i'm going for a date or if i'm going to the gym if i'm going for a walk like things that i want to do for myself so me and green is for family me time and green is family so anything like last night i was watching tv with my son for an hour or two hours that is all going to green you know if i'm making food chicken curry all that is green okay <laughs> because i'm not yeah. cooking just for fun i'm cooking because i want my child to have a good meal right so all that is generally green so it's more the purpose of why i'm doing something rather than you know what i'm doing so that's why you know a lot of people say itna time you know kitchen mein but my point is you don't want your child to have a healthy meal or what you know so do i want to just become this corporate successful person to say my child is eating ready to eat all the time that's not right right so right. i have to um, I, i and i don't do my timing in the way that um, okay i have to only watch for 2 hours like yesterday night we watched tv for 2 hours but we could have watched for 6 hours i don't care so for mm-hmm. time with my children i don't put a limit you know i'm just right. like okay till he's happy to watch i'll watch you know so and if my daughter comes she watches she's more teenage right so she watches seinfeld right. or she watch friends mm-hmm. whatever she's watching i'll watch so i just sit with them and i just know it's my time with my kids it's not about how much time i'm spending it's about just being there right so that way so that's what i do with my timing and where were you asking so this is uh, where will this go this will usually go in like uh, the pink segment which is actually generating stuff and like like something that is going to an audience for consumption right so if right. i was just writing for myself it's orange if it's output then it's pink so basically <laughs> what yeah it really does and basically not really i mean you have your system in place and uh, the key insight is you plan ahead and your priorities are set that that, that would uh, make your decision making easy i guess i think it's a very strong point you make and it's a brilliant point my priorities are set yes because of that the decision is easy and also because of that the noise doesn't bother me 
So you right. know when I'm saying Facebook, you know what is who's wearing what. Mm. Now it's not that I'm forcing myself not to see, but it doesn't bother me because it is not in my strategy. It is not going to have any consequence on my life because I simply do not care. You know I don't care. When I go to the mall, I will buy what I want to buy. I don't care what anybody's wearing. Fine, you know. And you can see, like typically, my my own parents say, and everyone says, like you know, Indian or Diwali, you know, you have to wear some jewelry mm. and all. You can literally see, I have no jewelry. I literally have one mm. one diamond balis I wear, but that's it. So that's like, so I'm not really. I will probably see to some degree if I want to, but like because my priorities are set, this this noise doesn't distract me. Right. So, uh, have you been always this way, or has your journey made you like this? I mean, I guess you started your uh, career here in India, and you did your uh, graduation and uh, uh, education from here itself, right? And then yeah. now you are in London. So uh, this journey between India to London uh, shaped you to become like this, yeah, or were I you like a industry? Um, I just wanted to understand. I mean, uh, when I was in college, I did not really have a clue. I mean, uh, there wasn't much social media and self-help uh, content like that earlier. And were you like that earlier or now? Uh, so just uh, if you can throw some insights on your journey, like how have you become the Vinita Ramitri that you are today? Uh, were you earlier also like that or uh, how has it just come along? I suppose I was always like this to some degree. Okay, so okay. I still remember, like I enjoy uh, my own like solitude, right? And I know that even from childhood, for example, we used to live in Ajmer. Okay, um, it's near Raj, it's in Rajasthan, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, all the cousins used to come. You know, buas, their children, mommy, chachi, everybody's children. Everybody used mm -hmm. to come, and we used to play carrom. We used to play cards, and you know, whatever else, you know. And out of that, I used to just after one two hours, I used to just go and sit down on the terrace alone. I used to just my brain would start like over, like boiling. I start getting overwhelmed with the noise and everything. And not even the terrace. Terrace used to be too hot because Ajmer is really yeah. hot, right? Yeah. So yeah. Between the terrace and between the house, uh, in the CD, there was a little room, yeah, like a little right. room, you know, nine room where they used to put all the quilts yeah. and everything. I used to just yeah. go hide there, uh, just <laughs> because I wanted my own uh, space and no one to find me. And they'll be like, "Are you angry or anything?" I'm like, "I'm not angry. I just, I just need to clear my head." But I think I was the, the thread was always there. But um, and always they used to say, you know, "Shadi karegi, ladke aajayegi," because she's very headstrong, you know. So hmm. then I almost became like, uh, "No, no, I don't want to be like that. I want to get along with everybody." So I, I used to mostly listen to everyone. So I'm a very compliant person. Even today, I don't like the police car anywhere near me. <laughs> you know, I like my credit rating hmm. to be perfect. I like my bills to be paid. I'm a very compliant person that way. Hmm. So um, and like when my daughter's late to school, I'm like, "Why are you late? You know, you should always be on time." You know, so. Uh, that is my ethic. Um, so I used to always listen to everyone. But how I became the Vinita Ramtri I am now is because I came to a point, I think everyone learns, right? As your journey evolves. Yeah. So I learned that, okay, sabki baat sun lo, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Full 100% respect. But karna hai wo, wo, you have to do what you want to do. Yeah. You know, so I, go on. So no sabki karo apni. So no sabki karo apni. Exactly right. that point, right? So I mm -hmm. learned earlier i used to do suno sabki karo sabki and then i realized that no eventually it's my children my life my decisions um so it is then i took full which is why i write in my post also about full accountability yeah. so my boss can tell me what to do my children can tell me my parents can tell me everybody will tell me i took all that in my journal and i say but mujhe karna to wohi hai you know, मुझे जो करना मैं वही करूँगी. So all my friends के लिए Saturday Sunday है gym जाने की क्या ज़रूरत है? You're already so fit. I'm like, सुन लिया. You know, मैं gym जा रही हूँ. You know, like so that way. So this is how I became the person. It's just constant refining of you know सुन के भी क्या क्या होता है. So right. it's hundred percent. And I never disrespect anyone because I feel कि सब बोलते इसलिए है because they care. Yeah. You know, but everyone has a different way of caring. So you have to eventually say, okay, which one do you want to be, and how do you want to be? Otherwise, you'll become, you know, सबको खुश करते करते हम भूल जाते कि हम कौन हैं. Right. So that's quite important to remember what you want. That's right. And do you feel? I mean, uh, you are also a single parent, right? And you are managing your career as well as your side gigs and uh, all the things that you do. And you have two children to take care of. 
तो डू यू सी चैलेंजेस ऑन दैट फ्रंट ऑन पेरेंटिंग फ्रंट एज अ सिंगल पेरेंट आई थिंक दैट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट दैट यू मेक इज चैलेंजेस आई सी चैलेंजेस श्योर बट इफ आई वाज नॉट सिंगल आई वुड स्टिल सी चैलेंजेस पेरेंटिंग है ही चैलेंजिंग यू नो अकेले करो या किसी के साथ करो पेरेंटिंग इज चैलेंजिंग यू सी माय पॉइंट so i see challenges but i can't say that i have more challenges because i'm single okay. i would have different challenges if i was not single but the challenges in parenting are the challenges in parenting okay. you know so there are different type of challenges like today for example 10 baje i have to take my son to football right now if i was married what would happen i might be able to tell my husband you take him for football yeah. which most yeah. most parents yeah. do most children, most boys come with their fathers you see yeah. so that's the normal pattern but what is my uh, i have some neighbor he's taking his kid he said i'll take your kid at 10:15 acha theek hai you know uske sath chala jayega so then mm. so it's not a challenge in that way like you find ways right so you find ways and you're like okay can you take my son i'll take your kid mm-hmm. and you find ways to collaborate in society some days okay yesterday he had his covid vaccine he was not feeling well so we watch tv together now if i had a big conference to go i would have left him alone but you know yes up even if i was married it it would happen right so right. the challenge is still there and i think most parents ko a single parenting is lay uh, feels difficult is because people need a second adult to talk to and to work with but right. that way i'm very um, one i journal a lot as you know and i love you know my solitude doesn't bother me i'm very stable that way and i have a lot of good friends so right. my sister in the us is like a brilliant support like just even mm. talking and then i have friends like i said you know i go out i chat i have dinners i i can talk through things so it's not like okay whatever companionship i would have had in a spouse i don't have i have it's just like i have a bigger network of support mm. you know like, I, my parents are phone now my parents are not here but because i'm i'm just friendly i'll just phone someone i'll be like this can you take my son for football they'll do okay. whatever they can right? yeah but uh, also do uh, i think uh, th- your children they must also uh, uh, will must be taking some load off of you i in that way that she she is that the case or the <laughs> joke the <laughs> joke they <laughs> don't care see the way you have to understand children yeah. uh, so But my son they, they might become okay. more independent like right? if you if you have two parents who look up to you then they 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 are always protected in some sphere but now that you say that you uh, you may allow your ch- uh, children to go with your neighbor as well so they sort of uh, become more independent that way or is, is isn't that the case Yeah, they are definitely more independent that is there but they're not being independent yeah. because they're yeah. looking after their mother aise nahi hai okay so <laughs> let me tell you. the thing with children is they're very uh, you know yahan pe especially like i know i'd come to jaipur once okay when i got newly divorced okay. and sab log bachcho ko bolo bolte oh bechare bachche papa nahi hai oh bechare bachcha yeah. like mujhe rehna nahi yahan pe you know i left mm-hmm. the place i was like which is why i live in london and i live quite mm-hmm. far away from that sort of you know i make sure that they don't get that kind of yeah constant because these voices make an mm-hmm. impact Right? Yeah. So, but the way, uh, and I, I probably should not even call myself single parent in that sense. Is that my ex husband is very supportive. Okay, he lives on okay. the other side of London, but uh, okay. you know, if like I'm going to America in December, I said, well, you know, he always takes them for Christmas. I'm like, okay, I'll leave okay. them two days early because I'm going. He's like, okay, chhod ke ja. You know, like so we are very friendly even now. It's not like a problem, right? So that's nice. the thing. So, so that way, uh, one is that. So I have a lot of support, and my children again, they go here and there all the time. So the way my children see it is that they have two houses. Okay. They're like they go West London जाना है कि मेरे को East London जाना है. You know, okay. I told my daughter, I said मेरे को मेरी अगर नौकरी चली गई तो क्या करेगी? बोलती मैं पापा के पास चली जाऊँगी. That's right. She's like I don't live with papa. I said okay fine. Then I said to Rocco or my son, I said Rocco, if I'm going uh-huh. to New York, I'm going by, you know, whatever, you're going to go to papa. He's like okay. So you know they're very relaxed that way. It's not no problem like that. Um. So, but they don't do it because they really care. But that that right. has made them independent. Yes. Right. Because they have to figure for themselves, and uh, they they almost children look to take advantage. Okay, my daughter is already mm-hmm. thinking. What is coming? Is she getting to take? Is she getting to take? You know, because don't get mixed up. Yeah. Right. Right. So right. they're looking for their opportunities. They're smart. That's that's right. But. there is a clear divide i mean between india and london uh, england or maybe america that the, the culture there is more accepting to this right it could be and i don't want to generalize right so i can't say mm-hmm. that 
because a lot of people say to me India is very forward, which is totally fine, and I totally get it. Um, mm. Maybe it is, but in where I have been brought up, like so, if you see, I'm a Sindhi family, you know, very traditional yeah. background, and my family mm. supports me, so I cannot blame a single soul, you know. So my parents love me to bits. Even now, if I phone my father, I tell him, you know, Papa, me ko India na hai. Yeah. He will send yeah. me my ticket. <laughs> he will not even mm-hmm. ask me for a penny. He will just say, you know, you don't worry. I will get everything sorted, and he will literally send yeah. me the car at Delhi airport to pick me up. And he's just adorable. But the mm-hmm. point is that the culture is somehow a little bit more. Uh, I would say, like, they, I think it's not even a bad way. They just feel that you should have someone to look after you. So they we feel more bad for me. You know, like okay. oh, bichari kam kuti hai, sara din kam kuti hai, bichari kuti hai. You know, it's more that as yeah. opposed to. you know like shaming me it's not so much that but it's about you know there's no one to look up to that yeah so you. that clear demarcation between pity and sympathy and support correct so correct. no nobody wants anybody is ke mere ko aap samjho ki main bechara hu ya bechari hu and Boy, then na? that that way and also matlab uh, i don't see uh, still in india it's sort of a taboo people avoid but now people are getting into uh, realizing that it's not a uh, if you are uh, not happy with someone it's better to uh, part your ways but uh, yeah. and i think possibly you know what you are saying is not happy probably also is one term right so when people like whenever i talk about divorce you know to be honest kai baar log bolte hain you know they start making one person feel bad or you know toxic mm. marriage or toxic yeah marriage. and i don't like that word i can't I mean, that word only gives me tension i'm mm-hmm. like it's not that the way i look at life to be 100% honest and you should read this book it's called the 100 year life okay okay usme bade acche se samjhaya hua hai ki just jaise jaise society is changing you know we are living longer okay we are mostly yeah. now my, my son is probably going to live till 100 as an example right correct so, yeah average life span is increasing and the the pace of progress of society is also changing a lot right pehle jaise sure. aap padhai karo fir career karo you don't have to study again mm. but now you have to continuously learn to yeah. adapt to new technologies right so what's happening also the way this works is ki relationships mein bhi hum itna change ho jate hain ki jiske sath hum you know i got married at 22 22 pe mujhe kya you know kya idea tha kya change hua you know so as you grow up you just want different things from life so it's not yeah. about not being happy or anything it's just you become different people you know you yeah. want different things from life and i think mainly my thing is just that to say okay you should stay the course as long as your priorities your objectives remain then you should part respectfully that's totally fine so you know it's just that rather than like yeah you're right you know kai baar hum bolte hain abhi shaadi ki hai to nibhani padegi sari zindagi to aarti niklegi you know all of that stuff to ye sharam nahi mam aarti mein aarti niklegi you know that kind of stuff that is the kind of thing that just corrupts your brain i think because i think you know our relationships are very fluid and how we become friends in school then we go to college we make new friends same way with you know i think with partnerships it could be like that right right and the other avatar that you have is a life coach and you help people sort out their life uh, and on professional front as well so how does that go about i mean how do you help people and what kind of people uh, come to you for that for advice are they co- uh, the people uh, doing some uh, creative adventures or they are into corporate setup what kind of people do you advise I think it's a lot of people come to me. So how I got into it, first of all, is like one of my first careers in WNS. You know, I was a coach already. So I was a coach, okay. I was a lead, learning and development professional, and I had done all my you know professional coaching courses and all that. Mm. Then obviously, as I changed my careers, because two things happen. Now, one is, the other one is, tell me how to live. दूसरा है कि खुद की जिंदगी जी लो यू नो सो बिटवीन दोनों में आई लाइक दैट बैलेंस राइट टू से ओके फर्स्ट आई वाज डूइंग अ लॉट ऑफ दैट एंड देन व्हाट अबाउट माय करियर सो आई स्टार्टेड डूइंग समथिंग डिफरेंट आई जॉइन स्काई टीवी एंड आई स्टार्टेड डूइंग प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड ऑल दैट राइट सो आई लाइक आई हैव रियलाइज्ड बाय नाउ आई लाइक दैट बैलेंस एंड मोस्टली आई वांट टू रन माय ओन करियर एंड डू माय ओन थिंग्स एंड बी विद माय किड्स एंड ऑल दैट बट द कोचिंग विद लोग मुझे कांटेक्ट करते हैं राइट दे विल से लाइक यू कांटेक्ट आई विल नॉट रीच आउट टू यू टू से लिसन लेट्स डू अ पॉडकास्ट राइट बट इफ यू से पॉडकास्ट आई विल मेक द टाइम राइट सो आई विल से ओके इट्स फाइन सो सेम वे कोचिंग भी होता है कई लोग बोलते हैं यू नो विनीता वी रियली वांट टू टॉक अबाउट अ करियर कोई बोलता है यू नो मुझे यू नो रिलेशनशिप प्रॉब्लम है कोई बोलता है कि आई एम स्ट्रगलिंग विद ग्लास सीलिंग हाउ डू आई ब्रेक द ग्लास सीलिंग तो मोस्टली व्हाट आई डू नाउ पहले मैंने सोचा कि ओके आई कुड डू कोचिंग मे बी वन डे अ वीक 
बट अभी फिलहाल द वे आई एम लुकिंग एट इट इज मोस्टली जो कोई मुझे कॉन्टेक्ट करता है then i i i really don't do it for free by now i do some for free maybe if i feel like someone really needs it but you know the whole thing of you know sub yeah you cheese you know, you know uski value nahi hoti hai value nahi hoti fir and matlab usme mujhe pehle hi pata chal jata hai ki aapka commitment level kya hai yeah you know log bolte hain ma'am mujhe uh, motivation pe five tip de do to main bolti hu fir google kar lo you know if it is not and specific to you this, or to me uh, motivation business i really don't understand people pay and go to listen to uh, several motivational speaker uh, you can find on youtube and i feel that if you need motivational speaker to tell you motivate you then you are really not going to be motivated they can just exactly. give you adrenaline boost for a minute or so or day or so yeah for the moment right and i mean i don't want to shame them because sometimes us us adrenaline mein log bade bade decision bana lete hain which is maybe uh-huh. you know they have their own reasons and which is totally fine but in my capacity if someone says to me to give a lot of time or, or give tips i have to understand you you know you'll say ma'am mujhe uh, you know i'm struggling with career but i have to understand aap kaun ho aapko kya chahiye you know what is your struggle yeah. to wo samajhne mein mujhe like you know i say at least 1 ghanta lagega to have that conversation mm-hmm. and that is like a paid conversation now and agar koi general tip hai to main bolti hu main agle post mein address kar dungi like you know someone yeah. asked me about glass ceiling so i said mm-hmm. i'll write about it in a few days so i separated like that and mujhe time nahi hai to be honest like so i just do about three or four sessions a like a, a month because mm-hmm. mostly my weekend pay kar leti hu to mujhe lagta hai bahut because you, like you see like you know bachcho ke sath and all then plan karna padta hai right ki right. bhai um, i have to tell my son you know ek ghanta room mein mat aana ya ek ghanta mujhe baat mat karna mm-hmm. then i don't feel good doing mm-hmm. that i'm like yeah. itna bhi kya you know um, so i don't mm-hmm. want to like uh, see uh, say okay i have this multiple career and my children don't have time to talk to me like <laughs> i don't want that <laughs> that's right and in fact so uh, basically you give out life lessons that you have learned through your career and your uh, personal front and you help people to give clarity of thought Th- that that is, that is uh, what i believe thank you i mean actually it's very right that you're saying that and i don't do it um, intentionally to say ki aaj main clarity ke bare mein likhungi ya aaj main fitness ke bare mein likhungi it's not like i have a strategy to say i am going to become the clarity coach like i know there's even like coaches who are purely for clarity right yeah. but i i just basically share my life you know koi din jo cheez hoti hai and clarity of thought comes through that is because my own thoughts are very clear right you know so maybe it just shows from that like aaj bhi maine jis jo share kiya someone has commented like your your thoughts are very structured Now, I didn't mean to structure them and say, oh, you know, structure. I mean, I have to structure share. But right. it just shows from what you are doing, right? Right. And uh, mostly, uh, I see people who are good at uh, structured thought. Uh, they are good. Um, I mean, they they can really go well in their career as well as they can help people around them. Because what I see is there are a lot of things that I feel I know, but when I read it. through a tweet or your blog or anywhere else then i see oh this is much structured and now i can make sense out of it there was a feeling that i had that this is true but now it is more structured presented to me on uh, some form and then now it uh, it's uh, kind of goes like thing that a light bulb goes on ke acha ha isliye aisa hai right it's very interesting you're saying that i actually one of my posts i've written a long time ago is exactly this so you know i used to always say ki you know ladkiyon ke liye ye career like hotel career acha nahi hai wo nahi yeah. hai right mm-hmm. so and i i had written ki matlab ye cheez ladkiyon pe hi nahi lagu hoti hai ladkon pe bhi hoti hai kai baar you know they yeah. also are shamed for doing certain things and i'm never like the woman type you know saying okay this is just woman woman because i mean mera bhi beta hai like you know yeah. i see the both genders right so the mm-hmm. point here is uh one of the people who told me uh he is a chef okay one of my co- uh, friends and he said to me when he met me he said vinita i read your post and maine like exactly as you're saying he saying wo padhte padhte mujhe laga ki socha to maine bhi kuch aisa hi tha par magar likh nahi paya you know exactly so exactly he was saying you know so he says mere ko sab bolte babaji babaji you know because he was mm-hmm. a chef yeah so he said ki cooking karega kya career karega so same as three idiots you know photographer banega right so we have certain careers that they don't like yeah in fact you uh, started your career with the hospitality industry and now you are a banker full time so uh, what are your sort of i mean are there skills which are transferable throughout your journey or you have sort of uh, learned through uh, while growing 
I think it's both, right? I would say like 70% is a lot of, not 70, maybe it depends on the certain role type, but a lot of it is your yeah. underlying skill set, uh, which yeah. is generic, right? Which is your nature, your whether you're able to inspire, clear, clarity of thoughts, structure, your ability to persevere, resilience, things like that, right? Teamwork uh, and all of that. The rest then is your industry expertise, right? right. So sometimes you plug in based on, based on what you already have, but ek hota hai kai log kitna sorry sorry karte ki sorry main industry mein naya hu sorry main bank mein nahi hu i i don't do the sorry with this like you know sorry kai ka you know main achhi hu isliye to main yahan hu you know like sorry so kyu bolu main so uh, my point is that uh, so my basically i started hotel industry phir maine shaadi ki to phir i had to do like a 9 to 5 yeah to maine phir hotel chhod diya and none of this is planned to say okay main hotel chhod dungi but it was like yeah. okay you need to be like more 9 to 5 so i joined wns then i came to scotland to wahan pe wns nahi tha to phir my underlying skill was six sigma and you know lean and training yeah. to phir i even ne bola aap aake hamare training karo so you know like do a kaizen and continuous improvement culture so i yeah. did that but in that time i learned media then then hmm. they taught me uh, router kaise chalta hai broadband kaise chalta hai <laughs> <laughs> so i didn't know Technical. all that but they taught me right? yeah but i go and sit with people and i just say teach me you know so they teach me uh whatever and then i teach them right so it's a skills exchange right yeah. then uh, then banks called me on their own like uh, uh, barclays called me uh, someone reached out to me and said we're looking for this you know end to end skill set so whatever skill set i have they want and then once i join then i acquire the remainder and i work really hard like even now i have literally just changed from a risk career to a more technology career in apis right now yeah. that's another learning curve right so that's fine i mean i'll do it and i still i'm telling my son right dono saath mein coding seekhte hain i'm like you know, <laughs> so that's just you keep learning so whatever challenges come your way you find a way uh, and you just don't cry about ki ab ye kaise hoga main ye kaise karu you find a way right that's that's koi kar sakta hai to main kar sakti hu exactly <laughs> you know, my point is that right? and in fact the uh, you are in the right place fintech is the place to be as as of now and it's growing hugely in india and i'm I sure made a conscious that. choice i made a conscious choice so you're, you're right like uh, but i almost went like kyunki mai also if you see my career shashank like her role mai like the the form i stay with the same company for long but i change my roles every 2 3 years okay so constantly evolving yeah so you're saying like fintech is the right career so i thought okay fintech otherwise i was going to go towards like sustainability so i was just looking saying okay what is the next thing that i want to do that's great and uh, you also help people like you mentioned glass ceiling because a lot of people in corporates they sort of get stuck in one place and then they feel that this 9 to 5 job is killing me if i do a startup or i do something else i do some creative venture i start a youtube channel i will get a way out but i feel that some at some time at some point in life everybody feels that and everybody goes through that so do you have some sort of uh, uh, advice for people who are uh, going through such uh, phase in life Yeah I think this two bits right one is that if you're feeling it so for anyone who's listening and who's feeling that right ki mera 9 to 5 mein meri zindagi nikal jayegi right so that is one that you have to okay do something else i 100% agree right so you have to do something else but what is that something else is the key thing more important than what specifically it is what are you why do you want to do that something else right so maine bhi 3 uh, saal pehle or something maine ek uh, you know someone i went to india my my mama ji basically said oh you know we have these brilliant spices i thought okay let me import it let me start a business right so i started a business i was importing indian spices and i was like doing it in little stalls and all i was trying to find supermarket may you know a shelf space and all that so i wanted to try my hand at entrepreneurship right and i tried it and i did it for one year and i realized i'm not enjoying it mujhe likhna hai like mujhe kitab likhni hai i don't want to stand at the yeah. stall and sell yeah. salads like you know that is not me so i shut and i walked off like i was like you know ho gaya mera stock le lo sab band kar do mm. company dissolve sab khatam you know so i don't i think whoever is feeling that way try out try out few things and continue to reflect to see what what does it actually mean and the way i think a lot of people do is they leave the previous thing fully and start the new one that is something i don't do so if you see yeah. i have uh, a lot of things that i do but i didn't say oh i'm leaving the bank to start this business no i did it as a weekend thing 
and i said okay do i want to do this longer term or do i not want to do it as a as a sampling you know like pilot right and usme then i was like ye mere bas ki nahi hai like mujhe nahi maza aa raha hai so i closed it so again there's no shame in walking away right, right? so there's that bit and cut your losses every, short yeah you give life a shot and you know nahi aaya nahi aaya you know kya you know mm. no one's going to you know okay they can say failure failure i'm like acha theek hai failure you know kisi ne to try bhi nahi kiya okay theek hai at least i tried you know yeah, the point yeah i tried yeah yeah and the point is that uh, in any learning anything new that if anyone listening is wanting to try i think the initial curve is, is steeper okay like investments and i know you you've got a question on investments but first if yeah. i want to learn the investing kaise karte hain that first six months of first one year you have to put more hours ek bar samajh aa gayi then you can reduce your effort yeah you learning know, so curves kick in correct so the learning curve you have to figure what is the right time like for me usually my learning curve is uh, like christmas period i know bachche gaye hue hain you know ye hafta koi kis koi tang nahi karne wala padhai karo jam ke padhai karo you know so that's what correct. i do so i find my windows and then i just get after it yeah and i in fact i had this wonderful uh, post which i shared that use your 5 to 9 to get out of 9 to 5 so basically you do the weekend hustle and not entirely leaving your uh, security and the financial engine that you have going and do your weekend hustle and then if seems uh, plausible and uh, sustainable then make it a full time yeah. thing yeah. yeah i think but also a lot of times people think you know uh, they want to get out of like what like you saying get out of the corporate life as an example yeah. right yeah yeah I think कई बार यू नो यू वर्ग लाइक लोग यूट्यूब चैनल शुरू करते हैं तो उनको कई बार दिमाग में लगता है कि वहां पे तो कोई पंगा ही नहीं है वहां पे तो सब यू नो इजी है यू नो व्हाट आई मीन इफ यू आर ट्राइंग इज डिफरेंट बट इफ यू ट्राइंग गेट आउट बिकॉज इज नो हार्ड वर्क देन यू नो यू माइट है so it's about why you want to get out to do what you want to do more creative work what do you want to do so because I love what I do at the bank also so i don't want to get out like i'm happy you <laughs> know i mean i look yeah. forward to one day because i have problems to solve and i enjoy solving yeah. problems so that's one and then i feel okay but if any day comes when i want to leave then i should have that choice right and it's in fact that, uh, yeah. Optionality. yeah that optionality and also that optionality comes from the uh, next thing that we i wanted to discuss is investments and financial discipline which ultimately leads to financial freedom and you also write about that and speak a, a lot about that so uh, how did you start i mean i'm sure in starting um, especially indian people don't have that uh, that sense given to them or did you have that no i didn't have that so actually i was a very bright student which is exactly okay. as you're saying hum intelligent bahut hain yeah but kahin pe kuch आ जाता है अबाउट यू नो ओके नौकरी करेंगे बड़ी नौकरी मिलेगी यू नो यू यू इंटेलिजेंट टू सर्व अ कंपनी एंड द बिगर द कंपनी द बेटर योर सर्विस लाइक इफ यू आर सर्विंग अ टाटा और समथिंग यू नो इवन बेटर और यू आर सर्विंग द यू नो आईएएस सर्विस सॉरी या आईएएस द सेंस ऑफ सर्विस इज वेरी स्ट्रांग इन आवर कल्चर राइट उसमें फिर लोगों को गिल्टी लगता है समटाइम्स यू नो टू डू योर ओन थिंग बट आई थिंक इट्स दैट बैलेंस राइट टू से आत्मनिर्भर जो बोलते हैं ना दैट आल्सो वी हैव टू बी राइट So the point here is, I was always intelligent, but I never learned how to invest. The irony of this is, my dad invests, but yeah. I never actually learned it from him. Hmm. Okay, so I got married, and my dad does his own stuff, which is fine. Um, and when I got married, it was normal, you know, FD, करनी है, you know, they would hmm. tell me the family decision, you know, beta वो आया है, sign कर दो, ठीक है, sign कर दो, you know, not even reading, not yeah. care. कर दिया यू नो ओके 12% इंटरेस्ट ओके फाइन यू नो बिकॉज़ दैट वाज हाउ इट वर्क्ड एंड आई नेवर बॉदर्ड और बट देन जब ही आई गॉट डिवोर्स लाइक देन आई फिगर्ड कि यू नो लाइक ओके यू नो व्हेन आई आई लाइक आई स्टार्टेड रियली रियली स्मॉल बाय देन ओके टू से ओके आई लिटरली जब मैं लंदन आई आई हैड इन माय बैंक 2000 पाउंड्स व्हिच इज नॉट मच फ्रॉम अ लंदन बेस यू नो मेरी मंथली रेंट 1100 थी So you can imagine एक महीने की रेंट एंड खाना निकल जाएगा टाइप्स यू नो सो वन मंथ आई कुड हैव सर्वाइव दैट मच राइट बट द पॉइंट इज दैट एट दैट पॉइंट आई रियलाइज कि अगर मैं ये नौकरी एंड आई वाज वर्किंग इन बाकलेज दैट टाइम राइट अगर मैं नौकरी करते करते मेरी जिंदगी निकल जाएगी यू नो एंड आई हैव नो सेंस ऑफ यू नो ओके हाउ एम आई एक्चुअली गोइंग टू लाइक व्हेन व्हेन कैन आई वर्क अवे वेयर लाइक यू नो सो व्हाई हैवंट आई लर्नड हाउ टू इन्वेस्ट सो देन मैंने 200 पाउंड निकाले दो सौ जस्ट दो सौ आई पुट दैट इन टू समॉक्स एंड आई हेड वर्क फॉर स्काई टीवी राइट तो मैंने पहले पहले तो स्काई के खरीदे 
so i was like okay sky le lo first you know how people start with okay isko jante hain you yeah. know known yeah. but yeah. then i yeah. learned so then i got like i really want to learn and i got after it and i got after it so bad that uh, actually then there was a course there then i was like you know mai koi course karna hai so i did a course as well and that was an online course so mai weekend pe christmas pe baith ke wohi module 10 10 baar dekhti thi pause karo phir read karo and you know like pause karke then i would research on the internet you know if they say okay warren buffett said this and i would yeah. about warren buffett yeah. peter drucker said this whatever you know what I, like so i would go one to the other gold is important but gold is not an investment it's more like you know a uh, buy and hold Hedge. okay you know hedge so basically i would look at that then i would be like okay do i want gold do i want fx do i want this but obviously i work in banks so i have regulations on me like restrictions yeah. on me i can't do yeah. shorting and i have i got yeah, yeah. so pehle maine sikha sab then i was like meko allowed kya kya hai us pe focus karo theek hai to phir maine us pe focus kiya then so slowly like that i learned and i thought okay i need to keep growing my portfolio so that's how i began to say i need that backup because kai baar din hote the uh, that i was not so happy at the bank right sometimes you mm. know everyone has an every career right koi koi din hota hai yaar you know like aaj agar mujhe chhodna chhodna hota to main chhod sakti thi nahi because i have no backup so today whatever anyone says anyone asks me to do i have to do because i have zero backup and i was like i don't want to be in this position so then that's why i really worked hard and i still work very hard even now like literally last week markets were up I sold about uh, I'd say ten fifteen percent of my portfolio, and I created to cash. So I took some profit out, but I don't take it out. Like I don't take it out of my portfolio. It's just yeah. there in cash. So this weekend again, I will decide. Okay, which which ones do I want to put it in? So I'm constantly churning that. But I like you see, it will not like now because the portfolio is already stood. The knowledge mm. is already there. Now I just have to go. Okay, example, if I have ten thousand pounds, मुझे क्या लेना है? फुल फ्लेज portfolio that you are managing yourself correct i i only manage it myself i never give a penny to anyone wo me ko phone karta hai ma'am you know uh, these different companies i don't want to name them yeah. but obviously because you know what i do the funny thing is mai kai baar idhar udhar research karti rehti right i'm just a geek like that you know mai idhar udhar padhti rehti hu 15 minute retirement plan you know top 5 mm-hmm. stocks for uh, 2022 yeah. right and so mai download karti hu these free pdfs through no ke phone aata hai like i just want to read you know i just yeah. want to read, to read or, and i'm downloading just because i'm curious if you have a conference i will come and sit and i will attend but i will manage my own money like so That's that is right. very good cool for me yeah yeah I, I then, and the- but to be honest so just just one fine point to be honest in yeah. that there's two portfolios right so one is the one i manage dusra is my pension that is managed by someone else so that yeah obviously that, that, that yeah diversified and yeah and that also takes out the fund manager bias <laughs> even the, uh, after the fund manager is yourself and also i mean uh, people talk about fire and all uh, early retirement actually the aim is not to uh, what i get from your uh, insights also the aim is not to retire with so much money that i let's say i have a crore or 10 crores in my bank account then i'll retire the aim is to have that optionality or freedom that let's say if tomorrow i want to leave this life and start all together something i am sure that i can do it and i have that confidence and the, with that confidence if you work whether in your workplace or in your personal things then the results are totally drastically different because at back of the mind you don't have that worry ki kal ko kuch ho gaya to main kya karunga in fact your family is also that way secured and, and i mean 100% with you and boy cheese relationship pe bhi jaati hai so you you didn't ask me that but as an example like today if i'm on a date okay as an example okay mm-hmm. okay he will probably pay the bill but i know i can pay the bill yeah so, i mean i'm not like you know if i want to just walk away and say sorry you know here's the check i'm out mm-hmm. you know it's not like oh you know mujhe like i am just always that that is the grounding yeah right because i'm here by choice i'm not here because i have to tick a box i don't have to look good to anybody it's not because i don't have money to eat I'm here because I want to be here, and the moment I don't want to be here, I will not be here. In you know, fact, it's that yeah. Yeah. that confidence yeah. is is what makes the difference, right? 
That's true. I mean, this change I've personally seen here in India as well. I'm, for example, in in my sister's case now, she's well earning and uh, doing her job. So if we ask her to meet a boy or some, so she says that, "Boy, I have to give my money myself. If I have to give my money, I don't want to keep a burden that she gave me. So that change is actually, uh, and if you have that financial backing, then that is uh, literally." Is, it does what does for you it's liberating right because i'm not saying that you know you can't love people you love people unconditionally but you should not have yeah. to love someone because you want their money you know exactly. you, you should love someone unconditionally to say okay even if if and if i was not taking anything it's fine i'll still be here right so that yeah. is when you can just genuinely be be yourself right so your sister i think she's on point right yeah <laughs> correct <laughs> and in fact uh, financial discipline uh, is one part of a healthy and happy life and the, uh, I'm teach my kids. <laughs> <laughs> right, I see the video. Your son is quite uh, intuitive in that way. You were trying. I saw the video. You were trying to teach him investments, and uh, he was mentioning where do you read about your stuff. So at young age, he, he knows all that. So I'm sure with uh, uh, as he grows, his curiosity would take him to in that direction. He's very cute, and I mean, he's also just both in a compliant. I told you, Indian mm. um, arena. Usko 79 pence chahiye the for getting Apple iCloud. You know, saying, do you want iCloud yeah. storage? His phone pe message aya, do you want to buy mm. iCloud storage? He sent me the screenshot saying, mom, can I please press yes for permission? Okay. You know, so, <laughs> pence ke liye check karta. so he's very cute that way. But my daughter, then she's very much like, I want Prada, I want Gucci, I want Dior. <laughs> so I have both kinds. In fact, and in in fact, uh, you shared your uh, so uh, next point that uh, I wanted to ask you is because financial discipline and financial health is one uh, which leads to a happy and healthy life. The other part is your physical and mental health, and you speak a lot about that also. So, uh, is this uh, learning that you had from earlier, or is that came on later? I think it came on by the time I was probably 20, 23, 25, maybe for physical fitness and then mental health, I think like through my divorce and everything else, like the whole ecosystem, you know, it's an ecosystem, right? So yeah. financially, if I have money, but I'm not able to think straight, Healthy. then I'm going to go, on, you know, crazy shopping sprees and just, you know, not even realize what I'm doing and never be happy, right? So I think that some things are different. I think that all you know, just say universe, dekhte na, ek hi hai. you know, it's like that all right. the gods are one, right? Mm. They say. So it's the same, the same way I look at it. It's all, it's all one holistic life, right? So why, sometimes we create pillars out of it. But actually, it's your own entire existence, right? Abhi, main paise leke to, like, if my body is not fit enough to walk from here to there, main paise ka kya yeah. exactly. you know, um, it's, it's all that, right? So my fitness and also I have polycystic ovaries, which is essentially a disease that makes you overweight. So I was very overweight at 16. Then I realized the doctors basically said ki aapka sirf ek is do solution hai, exercise karo aur pani piyo. So <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> so I pani piti ho and exercise baut karti ho. So like I basically, now it's in my routine. Or rose okay. like, you know, now also I've already been one hour to the gym this morning. I So mm. like it's just my natural pattern. No, it has become part of your routine. So uh, you sort of feel, uh, in, I mean, I have been through that. So you have that urge, ki, Are, aaj workout nahi kiya. So you don't feel complete and satisfied with your day. And yeah, you feel unknown, right? You feel yeah. like, you know, the body, body tone is missing, right? Yeah, exactly. And people uh, we would say that they don't have the time and everything. But there's a beautiful saying that a healthy person wants 100 things, but a sick person wants only one thing. That is to be healthy. True. So, true. so if you don't have that health, then uh, I'm no, uh, nobody is going to enjoy, like you said, uh, no matter how much wealth you have and everything. 100%. And see, like last month I had COVID, right? So last month I got COVID and I could not okay. exercise for 10 days. I could not go out of home, right? And I generally became weak. Like I was working every day. I didn't take time yeah. off work, but I was, uh, I was generally just tired. Then immediately I recovered. I got tonsillitis. So I didn't actually, mm. which is what you're saying, you know, when I'm unhealthy, I was just like, Kab main ki ki main gym ja sakti you know, so this week I'm fine. So this whole week I've been flat out, you know, working out. But yeah, if you, then you realize the value. And also I have two kids, right? So I've been through like two cesareans. So you realize, Usme to, you can't do anything. 
So six yeah. weeks, you're like, no, you're just sitting there and like, when can mm. I go back to the gym? So I, I can agree with everything you're saying that we take these things for granted. But uh, jab kar sakte hai, humko karne chahiye, like whatever we can do. Exactly. Right? Yeah. True. yeah. And I'm sure, um, nothing to flatter you, but uh, I saw, I saw your, uh, uh, you posted a pic with your daughter. I mean, I could literally not make out that you are her mother. I look like a bigger, her big sister and you are in great shape. So uh, what, what is the routine that you follow? I mean, uh, in your workouts. So mostly my, my workouts are very relaxed. Like I, the one thing also is that I, I want to enjoy what I do. Right. So okay. I, I go to the, like when the gyms were closed for lockdown, I used to do running. But I prefer not to, and I've even run the London Marathon and all, so I do the running, I'm okay at, but I prefer not to just consistently run because that's not good for, like, that's not going to do lots for your muscle tone and all that, right? So I also want to do strength yeah. training. So I do, what I do is I go to the gym, usually it's about 45 minutes to an hour every day, and mostly it's about six days a week, if not, then seven days a week, right? So pretty much every day. And then I will do about 20, 25 minutes of uh, cardio, could be cross trainer, could be rowing, all of that. Then I do maybe about 20 minutes of, uh, you know, weights. And um, then about five, 10 minutes of just core training. So on yeah. the mat, um, kettlebells maybe in that, or sometimes just plank and things like that. But it all kind of, it's, I don't have like a set trainer to say, karna hai because mentally I'm already very aware. If I've come to the gym, I'm not going to chat to anyone and all that. Right? I, don't, yeah. I don't talk yeah. to anyone. I don't even know who is in the gym. Mm. I have my AirPods on and I'm usually listening to the news or something or the other, or sometimes even music. Mm. But that, that's it. I'm in my own space. It's my meditation. You know, blog bote, aap meditate yeah. Hai. Mera wohi meditation hai. <laughs> like, yeah. So yeah, true. I mean, uh, I find myself doing the workout. I get uh, literally, uh, I have uh, the, the whole day I was struggling with some problem. I wanted to find a solution. But when I was working out, uh, it, the solution just strikes you. Okay, it can happen and because that is the focused your body is telling you okay uh, you are doing good something and then your mind is so focused and i'm sure some hormonal uh, this thing is also going on within and it helps you something and i mean a lot of my posts are written on the cross trainer you know yeah. so my cross trainer pe chal chalte mujhe idea aata hai then main likhna shuru ho jati and i just posted literally from the the trainer itself that's great. So before we end, I do do you want to just give out some productivity hack to the millennials and the Gen Zs who are listening about life and relationships? Because that is the key thing that they are struggling with. Uh, career and all is fine. They they have their purpose uh, well charted out. I mean, they are not after money like we were uh, uh, baby boomers were uh, ek, uh, roti kapda makan chahiye. No, they are above that R- roti kapda makan wifi sab hai. Uh, they want purpose so how do they manage uh, this balance uh, the purpose and life and relationships I think it's a very good point and the key tip I would say to the millennials and or whoever is like basically listening right sure. so regardless sure. of your age or your gender yeah like you have to always uh first is of course you know purpose is important you know so kaibar purpose looks like a very big word ki bhai ye hai kya cheez? you know <laughs> you know uh, mm-hmm. because it's it's a bit daunting right ki bhai khana peena ho gaya, like you're saying Abhi mm-hmm. purpose kya hota hai? so uh the main thing i would say is you know you have to look into your own uh being you know like apne phone mein bhi aap dekh lo ki aap konsi app download karte ho, aap konsi cheez follow karte ho, tiktok pe aap kya dekhte ho. so usme you can figure out ki what are you gravitating towards Abhi jaise mera khud ka beta hai, uska sab sari zindagi football hai. You know, literally mere piche you can see Ahmed yeah. Sari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, that is that is how his thinking works, right? So, same as you, you will have, like my do- my sister as an example is all about cooking. My daughter is all about fashion. So, har ek ka apna hota hai kuch ki bhe ye, is cheez mein mujhe, you know, I enjoy it. Phir usko aapko stitch karna hota hai ki, okay, usse mujhe karna kya hai. So, you know, okay, you know, there's that ikigai model just if you're yeah. doing something, you're good at it, some the world will pay you for it. Mm. But I would say, and wohi karo just me, you know, like a Roger Federer, he's good at sports yeah. and he can get money from sports. But I probably would say consider other models. Because kai bari uh look such ki by yehi mera passion hai, toh, mein mujhe paise hai. And I mm. think that is just one way of looking at life. Because you're right, you know, nine to five apna karo, apne paise banao, and phir, you are stable, fine. So, roti kapra makan ho gaya. Then, baki time apna purpose follow karo. 
you know exactly. so you have to figure out that configuration and you won't get it right first time you have to constantly tweak it like i said coaching mujhe pasand hai par mujhe laga mujhe naukri chhoti coach nahi banna hai you know so i have to figure out that balance of how to do it right okay. fitness pasand hai par mujhe fitness trainer nahi banna hai mujhe khud ja ke fit ho ke hona you know what i mean exactly. so you have to figure out in your purpose what do you actually want to do the roles are infinite and you have to almost mai bolungi ek cheez karni chahiye just like you have to make your own vision board and uh, i know it's very uh, tedious sometimes log ko lagta hai you know but, you know ye sab kon karta hai mm-hmm. but you should i sit with keynote and i write down this is my strategy this is my structure this is my objective kyunki fir jo clarity aati hai na uh, mm-hmm. fir usko like koi uh, tod nahi sakta type of thing you know what i mean so mm-hmm. you have really helpful and you should spend your time to do that because all this what you're talking you know motivation tip pe ho gaya you know adrenaline mm-hmm. high ho gaya but uske piche uh, content kya hai concrete plan kya hai <laughs> plan kya hai karoge kya you know 10 actionable advice yeah yeah and structure you know i'll go what is the model what is the sustainable mm. model you're going to do you know i go to the gym and i work out for 3 hours agle din main uth nahi sakta that's not sustainable yeah right so yeah. you have to integrate your passion into your life yeah and in fact like people said like you said com- uh, people commented ki you have well structured thought so that structured thought come from uh, doing uh, the hard work that goes behind you uh, do your journaling and that structured thought comes from there it is not out of the ordinary that somewhere somebody ye raat ko bhagwan aake aapke dimag mein dal dete hain it's not like <laughs> <that>. yeah <laughs> and kai bar you know ma'am log mujhe text karte hain ma'am please aap mujhe bata do kis structure karna hai you know 10 line mein bata do ya 5 line mein bata do i'm like you know, <laughs> you know i wish i could but i can't uh, and even maine abhi novel likhi right to novel ka fir alag structure hota right तो वो मुझे पढ़ना पड़ा लाइक यू नो एक साल आई स्पेंड टाइम स्टडीइंग नोवेल स्ट्रक्चर्स हाउ टू राइट कैरेक्टर्स यू नो रेड सम गुड नोवेल सो हर एक जो चीज जो चीज आपको फॉलो करनी है फिर उसमें अलग आपको सीखना पड़ेगा राइट राइट एग्जैक्टली इट जस्ट डिपेंड्स ऑन व्हाट यू वांट टू डू दैट्स ग्रेट इट वाज फन चैटिंग विद यू टेल पीपल हाउ कैन दे रीच आउट टू यू आई मीन योर सोशल हैंडल्स सो हाउ कैन दे रीच आउट टू यू I think the best place to find me is pretty much LinkedIn. So, and okay. and the one thing for me is like uh, Vinita Ramchi is like uh, I'm the only Vinita Ramchi in the world. So, if Google करोगे okay. तो मुझे आपको वो ही Vinita Ramchi मिलेगी. You know that's the thing. So, all my handles are Vinita Ramchi. So, Vinita Ramchi on uh, LinkedIn, Vinita Ramchi. I'm on Facebook as well. Um, but my Facebook is very crowded. Uh, so I don't like I just post mm-hmm. and then I go. Instagram Vinita Ramchi. Twitter is Vinita underscore Ramchi because you have made garbage on my account. Or then, where I like you have my a website, website as well. Yeah, the main is my website to be honest, Vinita Ramchi dot com, right? And in that you can send an email through that. So yeah. that's all through there. Yeah, but and, I'm usually and, available. And I, you know, anything I usually reply. And your book is it out or uh, where is it available? Two books are already out, so two are there on Amazon, but they're on like okay. financial conduct. Another one is about my business journey, like learning from yeah. failure, and the third one I'm looking for a publisher. So if anyone knows a publisher, please tell me. <laughs> you know, so I'm talking to I'm talking to Hatcher, to Penguin, to whatever else. You know, they're mm-hmm. saying that now in India, my madam, sixty-five thousand words is running. Your book is a hundred thousand words. Hey, are you willing to cut it short? And I'm like. थोड़ा और Perfect. I'll give you a shout. Thank you. Sure. Thank you so much. Okay. Goodbye, ma'am. Okay. Bye. Bye.